the conditions in the ghetto in, in our core city are worse now than they were five years ago. They're worse now than they were ten years ago, and they're getting steadily worse, not better. And it doesn't seem to me that the programs that we've had in effect all this period of time and just co coming up and talking about them each year, just a continuation of those programs is, satisf is, uh, is satisfactory. It's unsatisfactory. And this is an effort, at least, to move in a different direction. And I think that uh, it's, it's not going to be expensive. It gets the job done. And it brings in a part of our system, our society, that has not been actively involved in this effort before, and therefore I think very worthwhile, and that's the private enterprise system. Ready? Mr. S Mr. Secretary, why is the administration opposed to this uh, Kennedy Smathers proposal? Well, I think that uh, the opposition will come out in more detail uh, with the next uh, witness. Uh, and this is a matter of the uh, tax uh, features, which of course are great concern. Uh, as you know, my uh, concern about this and my reservations about it, and the fact that I believe that uh, this bill will cost uh, much more than the existing programs cost uh, to accomplish the same thing, and that if you want to do what the bill proposes to do, you can do it very simply by modifying existing programs. And believe it or not, uh, I am not in favor of proliferation of programs if we can avoid it. I don't think that there is that much advantage in this bill to justify uh, going ahead uh, with a new approach to it. There were some other technical and things which I raised, but this is the basic concern that I have. It's a concern of cost versus benefit. Well, do you think that existing programs should be modified along the lines of this bill? Well, I think existing programs always need to be modified. They always need to be reviewed, and that there may be some features in this bill which could uh, be incorporated in the existing programs to improve them. I'm not prepared to say which ones they are now. Under present circumstances, Mr. Secretary, isn't it true that the Kennedy bill would reach more people than existing programs are now reaching? 
uh, the Kennedy program would not meet any, meet, reach any more people than the existing programs, if modified and if funded, comparable to this program would reach. Mr. Secretary, if I may, uh, Mr. Kennedy seems to think this program of his is similar to the life insurance involvement that you were so favorable to yesterday. Uh, he seems to feel this is along the same line, only it's advancing the program <coughs> even more. Well, I don't know what he thinks about this. I, well, I think it's, uh, it's along the same line in the sense that uh, if you eat and you eat both breakfast and lunch, uh, the process is a process of eating. Uh, in both instances, the process is one of greater involvement of private enterprise, but in entirely different ways. Mr. Secretary, you more or less admitted uh, to, uh, in questioning with uh, Senator Smathers that we are losing ground in the no, public No, I did health. not. I did not uh, admit that. I said that I'd have to know what his definition was, but I think the important thing is, isn't whether we're losing ground or whether we're just keeping up. The important thing is that we're not making enough advancement and the advancement that we ought to make in a nation as affluent as this nation and that we need to have to make. And I don't think it's important to measure whether we're two inches ahead or one quarter of an inch behind when we've got to go feet and yards ahead. You said uh, one, one more. You said that uh, Senator Kennedy's bill wouldn't provide any substantially greater benefits than the present program. but he pointed out it would reduce rents considerably. Why do you not accept that argument? As well, because we have two programs already that have much lower rents than you could possibly achieve, and those are the public housing program and the rent supplement program. And how low are the rents with those programs? They are much lower than, than these rents, and uh, they, for the average rent in public housing is uh, something around in the 30s, 40 and $40 a, a month for new construction, and that's just his highest, lowest figure that he talks about is $79, as I recall. Are those programs dollars. more expensive than his program would be? It all depends upon to whom you ask about the expense. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. Thank you. Senator Kennedy, Secretary Weaver says that uh, the Kennedy-Smathers bill wouldn't really accomplish all that much, that what is needed is on its way to being done by the administration programs now. Do you feel that uh, the bill you proposed would be a, an improvement? I think that it would be an important improvement, and the fact is that we haven't really done anything in a major way about uh, housing. Uh, uh, financed by the federal government or in partnership uh, between the government and the private enterprise system in our ghettos or in our poor areas. The housing so far has been centered in uh, middle income and uh, outside the cities. Uh, I think we need a new kind of a program that's going to make large numbers of units possible to uh, lower income people. There's nothing that's been suggested other than the rent supplement program, which is more expensive than this program which would uh, deal with that kind of a problem. We just have not done the construction, and we haven't brought the private enterprise system in, in an active way. I think the private enterprise system could find uh, many of the answers to these problems, and it shouldn't be left solely to government, uh, which over a period of the last several decades has failed. Senator, Secretary Weaver indicated that you could accomplish about the same thing simply by modifying existing government programs. Well, we, I, I don't believe that's correct. First, we wouldn't uh, bring the private enterprise system in. I think it's important to take it out the hands of just uh, solely of the government and uh, here in Washington and put it in the hands, this kind of a problem, in the hands of the private enterprise system. Under the bills that we've suggested, this would be possible, and I think it would be attractive for the large companies of the United States, large corporations in the United States who have not taken an active interest in this before, to become involved. It would make jobs available and it would also uh, rehabilitate the ghetto, at least the beginning of rehabilitation of the ghetto. I don't think that it's going to change everything, and I think closely aligned with this must be a job program and improvement in education, training, and recreation. But this is uh, one step in a, uh, in a long journey. Senator, what about the cost, the Senator? It seems like the administration uh, thinks this might cost them considerably more than their own programs. Is the cost that prohibitive? No. In the first place, the cost would be less than any of the programs that exist. Well, first. Let me say that the programs that exist at the moment uh, are not touching this problem. And uh, the, uh, they just are not. Uh, they're not uh, having any effect. 
uh, or a very minuscule effect. So we're going to have to start to put in pro into effect programs that uh, deal with the kind of problem that we're facing in this country. Secondly, the programs that have been talked about up to the present time, this would be a less expensive program by far. And uh, therefore, I think it uh, makes a great deal of sense. Senator Kennedy, would you just briefly say what you are proposing? I'm uh, proposing, <laughs> there always has to be a girl. On <laughs> we start again? Excuse me. <laughs> no, go ahead. Excuse me. Go ahead. Go ahead. What, what is your proposal? Uh, it's a, a partnership between uh, the private sector and uh, the government. It's for the government uh, to make it attractive for the private enterprise system, the large companies in the United States, um, and uh, some of the uh, more uh, the smaller companies to go into the ghetto and make it attractive for them by tax credits, tax depreciation, and uh, by uh, making available money uh, over an extended period of time at a low rate of interest. Uh, it would re result in low rents uh, for the uh, tenants, and it would uh, leave the whole uh, operation and system up to the community, the people that live in the area, and uh, the private sector, and take the government out of it. Now, Secretary Weaver says that it's going to be expensive and that you're not going to come up with low rents. He says in public housing, right now you can uh, get housing for $30 a month, and you don't come anywhere near well, that in your program. Well, be f first place, uh, as far as public housing is concerned, 50% uh, 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 of all the public housing has been in communities of under 5,000 population. 75% uh, has been in a communities of under 25,000 population, so we're hardly hitting the large cities and the ghetto areas of the United States with the public housing program we've had in existence up to the present time. Uh, uh, the programs have not been effective in dealing with the kind of problem that we're trying to deal with. It might uh, look like it's fine on paper, it might look like it's an agreeable program, but it has not accomplished what we expected to accomplish. The fact is, for instance, in the city of New York, over a period of the last five years, the substandard units have grown from 420,000 to 540,000 over the period of the last five years. This ...to that which the administration was so happy with yesterday, the insurance, and he said your program has no bearing whatsoever, no similarity whatsoever, but in your testimony you seem to refer to this insurance involvement too. Are there any similarities? Well, I think that the fact that, the, uh, that this money is going to be made available by the insurance companies and by others, a billion dollars, going to be available uh, for uh, uh, loaning, uh, to uh, programs in the ghettos is important. It's still they're going to receive 6% interest. They haven't been willing to loan in the past, but I uh, make this money available in the past, but I think that's important. But uh, that's just the beginning. Uh, that's just uh, the beginning, because uh, even if you have that, and then you construct, uh, under the programs that presently exist, a housing unit in the ghetto, the rents are still going to be $130, $140, and they're not going to be satisfactory or available for those people who uh, are our lower economic group. You have to have something beyond just this money available in construction in the ghetto because a unit construction in the ghetto is anywhere from fifteen to twenty thousand dollars. Isn't Senator it true, Senator, that even bringing the cost of the rents down to the level of your bill still won't touch the lower strata of the income group? Not the lowest strata and those on welfare. I'm also in favor of, uh, of uh, having a job program, again in, in partnership with the private enterprise system, which will take people off welfare. I think the continuation of the welfare system is uh, a drastic mistake in this country, uh, and uh, I think that we should have a uh, system, again, in conjunction with the private enterprise system, to find jobs for people instead of paying people not to work. Senator, would you comment on the campaign financing? I have not bill? read it. I haven't had a chance to study it. Senator, you, you uh, collaborated with uh, Senator Gore in leading the fight against the checkoff system for campaign contributions. I haven't really had a chance to study, and I'd rather not make any comment. Senator, Governor Romney has proposed a $50 million uh, plan, something similar to yours, to build housing in New York State. Uh, what similarities are there in your bill and that which he has presented? Governor Rockefeller, Governor we start again? Did I? I'm sorry. Governor Rockefeller has presented a plan to the uh, New, York, <laughs> New York House. 
All right, let's take it from the top. <laughs> Governor Rockefeller has presented a plan to uh, New York for a $50 million involvement in housing construction for the poor people. Is your plan in any way similar to this? Uh, have you taken any lead from it, or has he taken a lead from you? Well, he's uh, suggested it in the last several weeks. I think that it makes a good deal of uh, sense, that uh, kind of an effort, and uh, I would hope that it would be enacted. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. He, he was following me. He's following you.